and his ongoing look at infrastructure in the Commonwealth. Connecting Point's Brian Sullivan heads to Franklin County, where one bridge that's already causing some traffic disturbances is set to become a potential headache for many when construction starts in the not-so-distant future. Construction signs adorn the side of the road almost like warnings of impending doom, telling drivers what they can and cannot do. Or in this case, where to stop as they wait for vehicles heading in the opposite direction to cross the bridge. Here in Massachusetts, where there are nearly 1,000 bridges that pass over water three feet or deeper, there are bound to be at least a few under construction in some way, shape or form. And when that structure was built in 1947, as the General Pierce was, repairs become inevitable. This steel truss bridge stretches for 753 feet over the Connecticut River and couldn't sit any more on the Greenfield Montague line if it tried. And while the light cycles may be a bit of a drag for drivers passing over it, the impact on residents living directly on both sides has been immediate. Right now, you can't take a left out of here. So you have to either pull right and do a U-turn or go down to the next road, turn around, get in line, wait. And sometimes people don't let you out. If you're coming down the mountain, you can't make a left turn at the bottom of that. So you have to wait and either do an illegal left turn or go get back in line over there behind cars to go across the bridge. But this type of traffic really only touches on the micro level of the situation. In a bigger picture sense, the General Pierce is the fastest way from the villages of Montague to the hospital in Greenfield. So delays on the bridge can easily translate to delays for fire and rescue. We see it more with the ambulance when we're transporting to the hospital. We have to stay in line pretty much like everybody else because of the timing on the uh, lights. So yes, there's an opticon that trips the light to allow us to go through, but it takes time and have to cycle through. So it could be up to a couple of minutes. We're, we're waiting in line with everybody else. And as anyone who's been on the inside of an ambulance knows, every minute counts. But the current state of the bridge is due to preparations being made for long-term repairs to decking and other structural elements. And that means in the meantime, drivers passing over it will continue to be beholden to light cycle delays and forced to travel in a slow single file line to get to the other side. The single lane of traffic has been a source of frustration for drivers since it first started back in June of 2019. But even this is something they should probably enjoy while they can because starting in the summer of 2021, the entire bridge will be shut down to vehicle traffic until the summer of 2024. Meanwhile, before any of that even gets started, the Turner's Falls Fire Department is already complying with weight restrictions that are currently in place on the General Pierce. We have to make alterations to the fire trucks. Specifically my ladder, only two guys can be in the ladder with no water. So responding out of town with the ladder, the plan is, is once we get there, we need to establish a water source. And on the topic of water, first time visitors to Montague and its five villages may notice that the three primary points of entry require traversing at least one bridge over a body of water. The closure of even just one of those bridges could wreak havoc on traffic throughout the town for first responders in particular. When they do close the General Pierce Bridge, traffic gets backed up. In my downtown, all the way back beyond 7th Street, uh, gets backed up on the White Bridge going back into Greenfield. And then Route 2 gets backed all the way up to Adams Road. So getting through that is going to be difficult at best. I work in Deerfield, so I head across this bridge daily. <laughs> it's a challenge if it's closed. It will be a challenge, but it's, I realize it has to be done. We reached out to MassDOT for comment, but we're told they won't be publicly advertising this project until sometime in early spring of 2020. What we do know is that it carries a price tag of $18 million, with a full budget of $23 million. One mutual concern for residents of Montague and neighboring Greenfield is the shelf life of the work being done. It's only a 25-year project. Now that sounds like a long time, but in the life of a bridge, why not spend a little more money up front and make the bridge last longer? What they're planning on doing is putting a Band-Aid over another Band-Aid over another Band-Aid, which is like my grandfather used to say, penny wise and dollar foolish. <laughs> 